Good morning, this is Amy with the National Weather Service Office in San Angelo with an update to the weather forecast for your Friday into the weekend and early next week. We're going to start out with another day much like we've seen the last couple days. We're going to have another round of rain possible. We'll have some showers ending this morning across Haskell and Throckmorton counties and maybe a little brief break in the rain through the early part of the day, but we will keep the cloud cover so temperatures will stay pretty cool in the lower to mid 80s. Now we will see an increase in showers and thunderstorms with the afternoon as the air gets a little more unstable. The best chance for rain today will be across the western half of the area as an upper level low pressure system moves slowly toward the area. Now we could see some slow movement in these thunderstorms, a few strong storms with maybe some small hail and gusty winds, but the biggest threat will be localized heavy rainfall. So watch for ponding of water on low areas and uh, flooding of roads and low water crossings. And as uh, the night wears on, we will continue to see a slight chance of rain. Rain chances continue on through Saturday and Sunday. We actually have a better chance of rain Saturday night into early Sunday as the main track of the upper level low pressure system brings it across west central Texas through the night Saturday and into Sunday. Now again we could see more rounds of showers and thunderstorms with some locally heavy rainfall possible. So if you're planning any outdoor activities for this weekend be sure to keep up to date with what the forecast is and have a way to get any warnings and statements from the National Weather Service. Now we will see the storm system finally starting to move out of the area on Monday. So rain chances will decrease for the early part of next week. However, we will continue with a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain through at least Wednesday for mainly the western half of the area. Rain chances should end by mid to late next week with temperatures climbing back to near seasonal temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s. Stay tuned for later statements from the National Weather Service.